So today I am filming in a new setting which is actually at my dad's house which is why there are no books except a few which I bought with me. I actually came back from uni today so I've just bought these to go back on my bookshelf at home and swap with some other books. So these are all I have at the moment and these ones are not mine, the ones up here, they're my sister's. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. And I read this book on Pulsit.com, I will link it down below. I spoke about it in my last video. It's a website which every day of December, if you're signed up, then you can read a free book which has been released recently and you can read that book for 24 hours each day they release a new book. So it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. The plot of Let the Sky Fall is basically there is a world just like our world but there are some people in that world who are magical in a sense. They're called sliffs and sliffs they can call the wind and they can manipulate it to their needs. The main characters are Vane and Audra. Vane thinks he's a normal human boy, he's lived his life in the human world, but he is actually adopted and he's, his parents died in a hurricane ten years ago from when the story begins. The other main character whose point of view it's also told from is Audra, and Audra is actually a sliff herself, and she is assigned to watch over Vane. And that's all I can really say without spoiling it, but basically the plot is really fast paced. The beginning, immediately something is happening and you wonder what is going on and it really draws you in and puts its claws into you and makes you really want to read it. The story and the writing is actually really lovely because it flows and that's kind of reminiscent of the wind and the way that the sliffs can cool the wind and control it. And there were a few plot twists in the book which I actually really enjoyed, like later in the story, and I thought that they really added to it and gave it some more depth. There is a bit of love, but it doesn't detract from the story. And then there are other properties to the Sliffs which I found really interesting, which I won't go into because they are spoilers, but the fact that when they come into contact with certain things, then these things have an effect on them, and... I thought that, that was a really interesting premise and then the end of the book comes straight out of nowhere like a brick wall and it's not a devastating end but it's an end where you want to know more. So the second book in the series is due to come out next year in around March time and that's called Let the Storm Break so I am just so excited to get onto that because the ending of the last one really is a cliffhanger and it can be developed so much further. Things are only just getting started. And so, yeah, I'm just, uh oh, I'm excited for the next one, definitely. It was definitely worth reading, especially if you like YA. And I ended up giving it a 5 star rating out of 5 because I read it in two sittings. It was quite quick and I just really enjoyed it. So yeah, I thought it was a really good read and I would highly recommend it to you all. So... Thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!